So LEGO unveiled their new Mindstorms EV3 system to the general public last month in September and is now available for purchase. I haven't really decided to jump on getting the EV3 system yet. I may do so in the future, but I'll explain a little bit about the EV3 set in general. But right now, what I want to do is focus on the three pieces of applications that LEGO provided for the new EV3 system to the tablet and smartphone market that they have for iOS and Android. And I've got an iPad here, and I will say right now the applications are the exact same on Google Play as they are on the iOS App Store. And the three that they came out with is they have Fix Factory, well, Fix the Factory, the 3D Builder, and the Commander. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the Fix the Factory. It's basically an EB3 themed game that they came out with. And what the game does is it kind of sort of introduces you a little bit to the programming in terms of like a logical approach how programming would would be done. Let me turn the sound off because it's not necessary. I got this little introduction here and you'll see some of the EV3, EV3 themed robots in there. We'll just skip over that right now. Basically the way the game works is that you have a situation where the robot needs to get from point A to point B and you need to program it and it'll give you these hints. So, for instance, say I don't want that, the robot needs to go from here to the power button and then through the gate. So I would have to tell it to go forward once and then tell it to turn right, go forward twice. Again, this is kind of simulating a move command that you would have in the EV3 programming software on a computer, for instance, or if you're programming it on the EV3 prick itself. So, Really, that's all Fix the Factory is, is that it's just kind of using the EV3 themed robots that you can build with the set, putting them into a game setting, and kind of al allowing you to learn kind of the logical steps in, in some uh, programming there. Basically just simple stuff. Now, the two main programs that you'll probably most likely be using for the EV3 is the 3D Builder and the Commander. And we'll look at the 3D Builder because that's where everyone's probably going to start with. And the 3D Builder app was demonstrated at the Consumer Electronics Show when the EV3 was first shown. And what it does, it would it worked with Autodesk, which is well known for doing the AutoCAD software. So it lets you have a 3D building environment where you can zoom in and out on the step of the project you're building be able to pan it around the screen and also rotate it so you can easily see where everything needs to go and that's kind of a handy feature because see the video is demonstrating it right here so this will let you go through step by step but it will allow you to more easily see the actual parts where they go and other things like that is first uh, looking at something like a PDF file or imaged step by step instructions where you only have that one particular view that you can see Again, this is showing the startup video. We can try and skip it here and get into the builder. And the 3D Builder has several of the EV3 robots that you can build. For instance, we'll look at the Raptor one, I believe it's called. Start with the step here. Basically, double click on And it gives us the first piece here, but as you can see, one finger allows me to rotate instruction around I can use two fingers to zoom in on it see where it goes I can also pan it around with two fingers like so and of course I can use the step functions here to let it play the animations and show where the piece goes and then move on to the next one so again I can follow through the steps and I can see exactly where a piece should go and like how many studs it should go over and whatnot. So this is the nice feature of the 3D Builder is it allows you to get a much better view of the steps in construction so that you don't put a part in the wrong place or something like that and have to go back and do it over. So that's basically how the 3D Builder program works. And then the very last one is the Commander application. This is a portrait, so I have to 
flip it around here a little bit. Now the commander is also pre-set up for the various robots that you can make again like we were doing. We were doing the Raptor one. And I don't have an EV3 system with me, so I can't really show how it works. But the commander application is what allows you to control the EV3 brick with your tablet or your smartphone. So, for instance, with the Raptor, the gyroscope, if you shake your tablet, will make the Raptor robot shake a little bit. If you thrust it forward, it'll cause the head to come down and chomp. And, of course, some of the on-screen functions will allow you to use your hand to control various forms of movement, like going forward or backward and side to side and turning. So that's basically what the Commander app allows you to do. It gives you control over the EV3 brick. But really, that's all there is to it. That's basically the three pieces of the EV3 software that came out. And again, this is on iOS that I'm showing it on right now. It's the exact same for Google's Android operating system. So whether you've got an iPad or an iPad mini or something like the iPhone and you're using iOS, or if you've got a Nexus 7 tablet or some other kind of Android powered smartphone or tablet, that it'll work just fine through that. So again, that is looking at the tablet and smartphone software for the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 system.